Good morning, campers. Here we are in um, Park of Heathbury last night. Mm. Park Road or Park Lane or, or something. I can't remember what it's called. Just down with the angel. Um, don't know if you want to have a little look. This is uh, just by the side of the road. But it's just, well, it ain't a dead end, really, but it's, uh, it just goes down the back and goes into a lane. So there isn't sort of much here, but we'll build over there and, and what have you. I don't know what else you can see. I didn't get it, it was only just got back in, it was bloody cold. Can you see down there? You know what I mean? Let's give you a bit of a... Can you see my mirror? It's all clear all down there, see? Plenty of room to park here. Good. It's a good spot, really. Because, um... That angel's opened. And apparently the food's in there is really good, but it's dear. And then at the other end of the village, which is just a... I don't know, five-minute walk there. But two minute walk here to the angel and maybe a five or six minute walk to the red line it's good food in there i've had food in there and in there went out oh, there with jane you know from um kidmington when she bought me lunch because she's that sort of girl um yeah i'm sat here coming down here i need to be down in southampton later going to look at a to buy a van um not sure which way I'm going to go? Yeah, I think I want a me. Well, what I want is I want a medium wheelbase, high roof. That's what I want because I want this one. It's great. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to finish up keeping this one or not, but I got an idea of um, buying another van, get another van. I sold my white one, um, put a deposit then on it, a substantial deposit then on it. Um, so. Um, That'll be only just, just getting the telly. I didn't put the telly on last night when I pulled up. I was working. Yeah, and um, yeah, put um, yeah, got here quite late last night and sort of just went to sleep. But I'd be off in a minute. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Seven, seven twenty-two. So I need to be in Southampton by about half past nine, something like that. Just a bit later, maybe. So I should be off then there. Um, you won't be seeing this until whenever because uh, I've got no internet. My internet don't come back on until the 16th, well, it. 23.59 on the 15th it comes on. But I need to bump it all up a bit, really. I, mean, I might just go in, because it feels fucking stupid, really, because I pay 20, I pay 20 pound I pay twenty eight pound a month for twenty eight gig. Well, sorry, I pay twenty eight pound a month for twenty gig in Tesco's, and I can change it for a hundred gig to twenty five. So I'm gonna be three pound a week, three pound a month better off, and sixty um, eighty gig more. Well, I don't know if that's gonna last me because I'm already in here with a telly, but I was thinking if I get another van, I don't want to put a telly in it, so I want to do live streaming that Netflix and one thing or another. Then I could do that in here. But I just don't know what to do, really. I mean, because I've got 20 gig on here and 20 gig on my um, dongle, or pebble, whatever you bloody call it, on three. And I do sort of quite like that. I do quite like having the idea of having two running together, because, I mean, if I kept them both on, then 120, going to go much over 120 gig, am I? But I don't know. I just don't... I just want to be the... I just want to be in a position where... If I get stuck anywhere, and you know, I can't get a signal or something, that I can stream, you know, I can't get a tele signal, that I can stream sort of Netflix or something. But I don't know, I'm, really good at, I'm not really up with this technology, but apparently I could talk to you like this, and I could, because I've got a smart TV in here, I could flick this up onto there, apparently. Apparently. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know much about it. Anyway, I had a good day yesterday. I went down to um, see Stephen Angel. They bought the van. Which is um, I'm quite pleased about because it's a bloody good van and I'll sort of still be, I'll still be about it and I can be um, handy with him because I see him quite often and when he goes oh this 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 and this and that, you know I know where it is how it works where it's wired to because I built the bloody thing. But yeah, but I got an idea. I don't know if anybody out there would help me out if they're a carpenter or really good. Is I fancy getting a van. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I think I'm going to spray foam it. 
inside or spray insulator inside because then it's it's done and it's it's relatively clean. Then the th then the thought is then because you won't get condensation at all. Then the thought was then is to um, put the floor down and then go to the back of the van. I want to put a bed across the back, so um, put it across. Have it sort of across the back and like maybe panel the ceiling. Because I got the idea of putting flat panels on the ceiling, like um, three ply, paint them white, and then put in either stained wood or black wood, is um, like slats going down the van from front to back. And then um, across the bed, have them going from side to side to sort of break it up a bit. But I think with um, not having a not having a shower in it, because I don't really want I don't really want a shower. Um, well, I'll have a shower in it, but I'll have one of them on the back door that I can um, like Skin's got you know one of them you just plug it in and it works. But I, mean, I don't use I don't use a shower in that very much. Um, well, kind of thinking, I suppose I do really want to go away. I use it quite a lot. I use it every fucking day as it goes. But um, yeah. But since my water pump hasn't been working on here, I sort of rip it. I go out on a Wednesday like I am today. And then I shall, um, well, I ain't out last night, mate, but I'm out today. And then I shall pop back home in one of my friends Thursday and have a, have a shower. And then I go Friday night back Saturday. Anyway, so I just be, just be reminiscing, just be mumbling. Just looking at here, I don't know if you can't eat, I don't suppose you can hear the near the birds. Really sharp now, you know I said that. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little walk down round the mill earlier this morning, but it's not um it was nothing like fucking hot out. Um of course everything now I ain't got no internet, everything don't everything doesn't work if that make if that sort of makes sense. But um yeah, you know, I'm just rambling really you know. But I don't know what to do really. I mean, I don't want to. How I want to. How I want to build a van to suit me, like a little bit better than this one. I mean, because this one really suits me. The only thing, I, the only thing I find annoying with this one is because, um, you know, look, because the bed goes from front to back. Then when you you've got to sleep dead level on that on that ax on this axis. You know what I mean? I don't mind sloping up and down, but the thing is, if I park in a curb, I'm sort of on that angle, and I park sort of over on the piss a bit. And um, because my bed's on the driver's side, I feel like I'm going to roll. Like it feels like it's just feels don't don't feel right. But if I'm leaning that way towards the middle of the road, then it doesn't really matter because um, I roll against the wall. And it's quite um, quite good over that bit because I've got memory foam mattress and I sleep over my side and it's made all the dents and the bloody what have you. And when I go over there, it's like a, a, like a brand new mattress that side. It's quite nice. But that's me just rambling again, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of what's it about selling my little white van because I put the art and soul into that and I love that. But I mean, Steve and uh, Angel, I mean, that's what they want. They want something small. And it's reliable, and it's reliable, and it's small. I mean, it's just had a new alternator, upgraded that from 90 to 200, 250 watt, so that's plenty, been plenty electric. Um, don't know how, they, how that little 70 watt battery will stand up to. Um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know how, how long that will stand up to um, the heater being on. But, I mean, I've been out with it, and it. I drove down there, parked it up. I mean, it was it wasn't it didn't plugged in our, um, the nest, and uh, the heater stayed on all night, and it was fine. So you'll get a night out of it, but it depends what sort of electric stuff people want. Isn't it because I don't you don't really know what they do. Um, yeah, but I mean, I got another four of them. According to Roger, I got another four of them batteries on bloody order, haven't I? So if they they want to buy, I mean, I sell them to them the same price I paid for them. Or I'm going to pay for them. But failing that, 
whatever I build, unless the next one, is um, I'll have another 70, 140, 200, there'll be four batteries, but it'll be 280 watts. So, yeah, I'm just really rambling on, don't I? Anyway, it's, uh, it's a nice morning. It's a beautiful morning out there. I'm walking back and it was nice. It's a bit bloody crisp. But when then I sort of see the horses in the field and that. But, um, you know, I could have gone out and seen my mate Ali and Alan last night, but I didn't get here till late, so I didn't want to go up and disturb them. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to look at Transit, and that's a medium wheelbase one, down in... I don't know where it is, just outside of Swift, set up there anyway. But it's what they call the medium roof, which looks like all right, but I, I can't quite stand up in one. But then I'm going off. I've got to go to the, the hospital when um, Thursday, 12 o'clock, so I can't go far. I've got to stay about. Um, so I get down there and sort that out. Sort that out. That's a urologically, literally, that bloody whatever out of, out of my stomach, they're just going to check me out and make sure I'm all right. Um, but I'm going down to Astrid Malach, going down to see Brian and um, Heidi. I mean, she's sort of got a Ducato for sale, sort of. But I think Brian's using that or having that. And then Brian's old van is a medium wheelbase um, transit. And it all seems ever so nice, so... I might, I might do that, but he's he's built it out. I think he's built it out all right, but it's difficult, isn't it? Because, you know, when when you do it yourself and it's right, isn't it? But I don't really want to go and buy a one that's sort of converted. That, you know, was well, you know, I mean, he lived in it. He lived in it for a while, so it's all right. Um, it's sort of converted, and then strip it all out. You know, insulate it properly. Like, well, I say insulate properly. I, I don't know if it's insulated properly or not. Insulate it um, with that um, spray on insulation. And, um, yeah, I can't remember where you... I can't remember if he's got the back of his van blocked off from the front. But I want the, I want the swivel seats. I want to be able to spin the seats round. You know, and put a set of blinds in like i got in here. You know, you just pull up across the window. Yeah, I want to sort of do that. And then put a thermal curtain across so that you can block it if you want to park up somewhere. And well, there's a kettle point. If you want to park up somewhere discreet, you can just get in the back and pull the curtain, not pull the front curtains. But that's um, that's neither here nor there, is it? Um, yeah. So that's good. <coughs> yeah. So uh, well, I'm anyway, go be a cup of tea now. I'm gonna make a move. Uh, oh. mm. Yeah, see, it's like, I think it's like nice and warm in here, and it's. Don't really want to go in here, do it? I was quite surprised how cold it was this morning. But, yeah, just sort of muttering on. But, I have got the idea because I got a London taxi. And um, just had a bit of work done that for MOT and just put another sill on it. And, well, I haven't put another sill on it, the sill's still in the back of it. But it's only a bolt on thing, just finished. To finish, um, What's it called? I was going to say bloody plywood, but in plywood, is it? Um, under sealing all the chassis, and then, then under seal the inside the seal, and then bolt that back on. And get that on. But I was I was thinking about making that in a one man camper, because it surprised people how much room you've got in the back of one of them taxis. And I did think about having a hatch put in so you could put your feet through the wall, so like a single man sort of thing. And it's a lovely old thing to drive about in. You always get looked at and, you know, people start to chat and it's quite a sociable sort of vehicle, really. But what's going to happen now, I don't know. But he's been sort of... I've been getting MOT'd every year. You know, doing, doing a bit to it to get it. And like last time, I just had enough just to get it through the MOT. And um, then it took all the seal, then it took all the seal apart. But the thing is, if you've got a bit of chassis and you get yourself a little bit of plastic, and a bit of tiger seal, and just stick it on. 
I mean, they can't poke it about or do fuck all behind it. I mean, they got to pass it, haven't they? You know, so then once I got it back, I got it back and got it all welded up. But it wasn't a, a dodgy MOT as such because the guy that done it didn't know what was underneath the cover anyway because you can't take the covers off, apparently. So he MOT it. I mean, I had to... I get the lights done in bits and pieces. But it needs to be MOT. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's done. Oh, I don't know it's done 20 miles since the last MOT. But I only want to do it because the car park I keep it on is a public car park and it needs to be taxed. So, um, I had to have it done. Yeah, but yeah. It was good it was because it stood oh, for a year. Well, from one MOT to the other. Put, a ba put the battery on, well, on what I did, it took 13 months ago, I forgot about the bloody MOT and it was late. Put a battery on it, turned the key and it fired up straight away. But those Nissan 2.7 engines are bloody good. Anyway, I'm just running away here, just talking bollocks, aren't I? Just chattering on. You know, well, there you go, all that time I've been here 16 minutes, one car has just gone up. And he obviously lives on the bottom. Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, look after each other, stay classy, no fighting. Put the kettle on, bye-bye.